everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today, this video is a special one to me because I'm actually graduating and I thought it'd be fun for us to get ready for my graduation. So in this video, you have a bit of a makeup tutorial for this kind of look, but you'll also have a chance to get to know me a bit because I've gained a bigger following recently and you guys might not know much about me because I don't put much of my personal info on my YouTube channel, I like focus around makeup, but I thought this is a chance for you to get to know me. Before I jump into the video, remember to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy this video and to subscribe to my channel so you can see more of me, makeup trends, makeup testing and reviews, challenges and some vlogs, some fashion. It's all to do with makeup and fashion mainly, but when I go places, I do like to share it with you guys. Anyway, that's enough rambling, let's jump on into the video. believe that I am graduating my degree. I've been studying for four years and I've also been working those four years at the same time. Before I start talking about all of that, let's just prep our skin. So for moisturizer, I'm gonna go in with the Glow Recipe Glow Drops. I'm actually running out of these, it is very sad. Oh my god, I literally don't think I have any left. It's okay, you open up the bottle when you have some left, so I'm just going to use that because I want to be glowing for my graduation. And these glow drops, do what they say, will be repurchasing. So let's rub that in. You can also use this as a primer, but I want my makeup to last. So I'm going to moisturize and primer. Prime? Primer. Prime. Exactly. For primer, I am going to be using the Beauty Crop Rose Glow Primer. This is a hydrating primer. Again, helps me a glow. And of course, I'm running out of this too. Why does this happen to me on my graduation? But let's rub that in. For foundation, I'm going to be using the H&B Cosmetics Foundation. This is the Soft Airbrush Foundation in the shade LF4N. Now I'm blending, I can go back and talk about a bit about the apprenticeship and my degree. So I'm actually graduating for a technical subject. I got a degree in digital and technical solutions with the Open University. So what happened uh, when I finished college, I actually went for an apprenticeship instead of going to uni. So I was able to work and get a degree at the same time and um, I was fortunate enough for my company to actually pay for my degree. So I'm in no debt and I am very happy about that. So I definitely will suggest if you are thinking about doing a degree or what's your plan for your future, definitely look into apprenticeships. They are so underrated. Like I was working four days a week and then I had one day a week for studying for four years. Yes, it was kind of difficult. Like there was a lot of work and it was a constant four years. Like I didn't have a summer break or Easter break as universities do, but now I'm in the best situation. I've got four years experience in the job that I want to do, which is data engineering. I've also got a degree and I'm not in debt. So the hard work pays off in my opinion. But look at that makeup. It is absolutely stunning. I also fake tan for my graduation, so the colors match in more than it usually does. Slight side note, I have a patch where I my fake tan is separated due to me wearing a Garmin watch every day. So I'm probably gonna wear a bracelet so we can cover that up. But back to the makeup. For concealer, I'm going to be using the HMB Cosmetics Soft Airbrush Concealer in the shade 0.5. So I always, I say always, I really like to use a foundation and a concealer that are from the same brand because they just, they're literally made to work together and it really just helps like have a flawless base because they blend so easily and it's just easier to do. You can get concealers and foundations that blend in together really nicely but then you have to do your research about like what's in the actual product, like if they're oil, water, what's their consistency. So if you're ever worried, buy from the same brand 
and they just normally are made to work together. It's the same with primers as well, they're exactly the same. Now I'm going to blend out for the Coco Cosmetics Beauty Blender, or should I say makeup sponge because Beauty Blender is the brand. So let's bounce that in the skin. So for my graduation, I'm really nervous actually, slash excited. I'm nervous because it's only me going up or I'm aware or it's only, let me start that again. I'm nervous because it's just me going up because I don't know anyone there. Obviously there will be other students, but where I did the degree online, I don't know them. So I will just be sat waiting to call my name, not knowing anyone, just sitting there. And then I'm obviously nervous for actually going up onto the stage and collecting like my certificate, even though it's not my certificate, it's all kind of fake, but going up and shaking their hands. Like what if I fall? I do not want to embarrass myself. And they're also putting up the clip on YouTube after it's happened. So if I can, I'll try and include it in this video at the end because I do want to include a few clips of my graduation so you can see a little bit of my day. I'm definitely looking like a bit of a ghost right now. So let's sort that out. Because it's my graduation, I'm going to make an effort and I'm going to do some contouring instead of just jumping straight to bronzer today. For contour, I'm going to be using the blush in the shade Hello There. So as you can see, this is more of a cooler tone. It's less orangey, which means it's perfect for contouring. So contouring is all about adding a shadow instead of bronzing is more about like adding a glow if you know what I mean so I always bronze tall because it's so easy you can add structure to your face with bronzer without contouring but this is just an extra step you can do because as you can see I've got nothing here like contouring wise you can already see I have a shadow there from where my cheekbones sit and I'm just going to enhance that a bit and obviously I'm gonna try get rid of my chins i've been really losing weight recently but it's just not coming off of the face i don't think like come on i gotta get rid of these necks i say that i don't have to i want to get rid of them just to feel a bit more me i don't know confident anyway this is what makeup's here for it well it is for me anyway to enhance my beautiful face and look how easy that product blends out absolutely stunning i don't know why i don't reach for the shade more often i'm always such a shady business kind of girl if you know what i mean but this all looks beautiful and then what i do i use a sponge just to pick up any excess makeup next i am going to add in some bronzer on top straight away and i'm going to be using another blush and this is blush in the shade caramel chisel so instead of like hollowing out my cheeks as i'm putting it here i'm going to put it further up and then kind of blend upwards and gonna go in a, th in a c shape just because i really this is where my the sun would hit so therefore this is where i would tan i'm still gonna add a bit here and i never contour my nose because it just goes wrong and messy and i quite like my nose apart from look it's flat i'm not sure how good you can see it you can like arrest a coin on it that's what i always say but i like my nose other than that so I leave it how it is. Sometimes I add a little blush and a bit of highlight, but contouring is difficult and can get messy. Anyway, let's blend this shade out. Just tapping it where the product is and slowly dispersing it. And look, look how ice like I've been on holiday now. So it doesn't interfere with that shadowing that much. It does obviously affect it as in it goes onto it, but we still have all that depth there from the cooler shade. Um, that's another reason why we tap and not swipe because I don't want to move that current product I already have there. Side note, I was gonna do my eyeshadow first, so then I didn't mess up my base. But honestly, I'm always a base kind of girl. Like I always do my base first and then I go back in with my eyeshadow. So I feel like I'm kind of used to like not ruining it. Like I know how to deal with it, if you know what I mean. If you don't know is I really love cream products. So we're gonna keep up with the cream products and apply some blush. And I'm going in with blush again. This is in the shade Posy Rosy. Honestly, I'm obsessed with the formula of blush. Like I used to like be skeptical. I wasn't sure. But now I'm just hooked, hooked so bad. But what I do, I put the blush on my hand and then I use an angle brush and then I'll pick some of that product up because sometimes I do go directly onto my skin, but I'm not obsessed with blush. Like I like blush, but I don't want it to consume my look. And look, it just goes on so much seamless. Like it, 
I don't know how to say. It goes on easier. And where I've like dispersed it over the brush, it just looks more natural. Well, that's my opinion anyway. And I always take it up because I want my face lifted and I want it to look longer because I do have quite a round square head. Now I'm taking some e.l.f. HD translucent finishing powder and the Drug Rails Cosmetics powder puff. This one's a bit dirty, should clean it. But I'm just gonna take some powder onto the sponge puff, whatever it is. And then we're just going to pull away a face and set that concealer. I always set under eyes first as that is where I cream. And I don't bake, I just set because bacon dries me out. Like I know I'm a dry skin girly, so I do not want to add more dryness to my skin. And then I just bounce in the rest of the face. And remember, don't drag because you don't want to move those products. And the great thing about like prepping my base the way I did, honestly, I don't feel dry at all, but I look really matte and I just love that. Next, we are going to move on to my brows. And ugh, brows are such a massive part for me. Like I love brows. Like. When I look at someone, you like talk to their eyes, but I feel like your brows frame your eyes. So I just brushed them up and now I'm going to fill them in with a medium brown dip brow pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. One hack I actually do, I actually spray this wet so it goes on smoother. You also don't have to apply as much product. So I give it a spritz and pick up some of the product on an angled brush. Then I tap off or tap off, I remove the excess product into the lid and lastly i squeeze the brush so it's in a super fine line so it's easier to control and then i always start by drawing my arch and enhancing it because i like a good structured brow and then i go underneath and color my tail in so back to a graduation now sorry i keep jumping all over the place um so i'm graduating in london at the Barbican Centre, which I don't know, I don't live in London, but it looks beautiful from all the pictures and I can't wait to take loads of pictures. And like I said, I'll try to get some eclipse in at the end. I don't know how much I am going to be able to record because when I'm actually graduating, I won't have my phone. But I'm also going to be spending the day in London. I'm gonna go for a meal, but then who knows what we're gonna do in London. I think we might go to some bars and just have a fun, you know? My only crazy worry is about how tired I'm gonna get because my graduation is at quarter past 10, I think, or is it half 10? Quarter past 10, it starts and then the doors open. No, quarter past 10, the doors open and then half 10, it starts at half 10. And I collect my robes anytime after 8.30 and I'm gonna get them kind of early so I can get pictures in them and wear them for as long as I can because I actually have to give them back at like one and I paid a decent amount of coin for these so I want to get my use out of them. So it's going to be a long day and I don't know how long it'll last like but luckily we're staying in a London Saturday night so it shouldn't be a problem. And I also say brows are my most important thing and then I chat so much that I messed them up. So let me just brush this product out. Now it's time to set my brows. I always set them after I put the product in. One, because it makes putting the product in easier, like the colour in, and you can blend it out. And then two, you also get to set your colour as well as your brow shape if you set them afterwards. So I should probably show you what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the NYX Brow Glue. Absolutely love this stuff. It's been great. Been using it, I don't know, for like six months. Probably need, I wanna try out a new brow gel, but I love this one. So why swap when one's working, you know? Also, I'm not, my career isn't beauty influencing, so I have to spend my own hard-earned money on all of this and I don't get gifted anything. And that's not me complaining. i just being realistic that we can't buy everything. Like, I have a lot of some stuff. Like, I have a load of contouring and a load of blushes from Blush. But there's certain products that I won't, like, branch out as much, if you know what I mean. So let's live on the dangerous side of life and do eyeshadow after I've done my base makeup. So my plan is a super glittery lid, I say super, a shimmery lid with a some browns in the crease, nothing too crazy because it's gonna be a daytime look. But I also wanna show off my stunning eyes. So I think this look complements my eyes the most. And I'm using my really loved Morphe palette. This is 
the 350, 350. You can see which colors I've loved the most and I'm going to use them today. First, I'm gonna be a bit crazy and go in with this deepest brown shade here. I say deepest, there's other deeper ones, but the deeper brown shade. I normally start with this one, but I'm gonna use that one to fade it all out. So pick up some of that, tap off excess, straight into the crease and just swipe it along like so. I need to remember to put my palette below and it will help out a lot. So we're going for a pink shimmery cut crease. I say pink, it is pink, yeah. It's slightly pink, slightly silvery. I don't know if it will go in my dress, but I think it will, I think it will. So as you can see, I'm just building up that color like so. Now taking a fluffier brush, I'm going to go into this lighter cool tone brown like here and then tap off the excess and I'm just going to blend that color at the top just to make the line softer because we do not want any harsh lines for this makeup. Now I'm going to clear the cut crease like I'm going to wipe away the product from my lid. To do that, I'm going to be using the P. Louise Cut Carver. And a Q-tip, you just pick some up and you swipe it about. Then we're just gonna put it on the eyelid and wipe and wipe and wipe. And it will take off that shadow on the lid. See, and also, can you see, it's like super subtle brown shades today because I don't want it to be like boom. I just want it to be like boom. I do want that shimmer to stay for a long time and that's why I'm gonna prime that lid with a P. Louise base in the shade 0.5. So I'm picking that up on the flat brush and I'm only taking a little bit and I'm just applying it directly to the lid up to that line where I cut that crease. And now I'm going to be taking this pink shimmery shade on a flat brush and now we are just going to push it in to the lid all over where we applied that base. And as you can see, even though the product's pink, it's not super pink. It's like a hint, I don't know, I just like it a lot. This used to be my go-to so often. And now we've got the shimmer on there, take that transition shade brush and blend those two together, just making sure it just looks a lot neater. Next, I'm going to add some eyeliner, but I'm actually gonna do it with eyeshadow because I don't want it as harsh as like my black eyeliner. So I've got the same palette and an angled brush, and I'm just going to take this darker shade here. It is very close to black, but it, it is kind of brown as well. And now we're going to take that and we're just going to softly add a wing this is one of the reasons why I would have liked to do my eyeshadow first because then I could like swipe up. But I think it's turned out pretty well. And I'm going to add some lashes and mascara so it'll like, I don't know, it'll just work together. So uh, let's finish this eye and then I will do this one off camera. So uh, let's sort out those eyelashes. So uh, first we are going to curl the lashes so we get the most benefits of when I apply my mascara. Now I'm going to apply the Revolution Wispy Lash Mascara. So we're gonna take that wand and just wiggle it on those lashes. And now we're gonna apply some Ardell Wispy Lashes. They look like that. And I'm just gonna apply some Kiss Translucent Glue to the lash band. And now the glue is applied, let's apply it to the eyelid. And now I'm going to do the other eye and then be back so we can finish this look. Let's try a cool funky transition. I don't know how good that transition was, but to that, both of my eyes are done and I'm so in love with this look. Why haven't I done it in so long? I used to love this look and chef's kiss. So I think the last step for me today is lips and setting it as I'm not going to put any highlighter on because if there's stage lights, I like don't want to be super glowy or look kind of sweaty and like... Highlight is not really my thing anyway. I do like it a little bit, but I don't know. Maybe I will add a little glow. But right now, let's just jump onto lips. But not physically jump onto lips, that would be weird. And I'm going with my trusty combo here. So first, I'm going to line my lips with the Doll Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Spice Up Your Life. If I show you. First, I'm going to give it a sharpen. Now that looks a lot better, let's line these lips. And I love Doll Beauty lip liners, they're so, so creamy. But I'm not gonna talk because I really don't wanna mess this up. 
Look how easily that went on. And there we are. I was super quiet during that, so I don't know what footage I have included. But now let me show you the lip color. This is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Lipstick. I think that's what it's called. And this is in the shade Driver. It is a nude color, but it's got that slight pinky tone to it, which is really nice because I don't like really beige nude lips. I like a little bit of pink. And also, it smells really good and I don't know why. But let's apply. You may be thinking, what the hell? That looks awful. Yeah, it does look a little bit weird, but let's blend it. So I'm just gonna tap the lip liner and the lip color together so it like blends. And now I do want a little bit of something something because my lips are a little dry. So I'm gonna add the NYX Butter Gloss and I think this is in the shade Fortune Cookie. Oh, that was right, it's Fortune Cookie. See, I just remember my favorites. And see, it just ties it all together. Now let's set this perfect makeup if I do say myself. And I'm going to be doing it with a Beauty Crop We Cherie Set in Mist. But also, a remember to shake. As you can see, it is separated here. So let's mix it all together. And then let's give it a spritz. Oh, hopefully that will last. Now I'm going to get changed and show you my final look before I go graduate. And this is my outfit for my graduation. So this dress is from Quiz. The tan is from Bondi Sands. And the shoes, which you can't really see, are from New Look. But I actually want to change them as they're the pointy ones instead of the round ones. And lastly, all that's to mention is, it's not my graduation today. So my graduation is actually in two days. I just wanted to do a trial one of like doing my makeup and the outfit. So I thought I'd film it. Because I'm going to be doing this in two days. But I'm going to be doing it at 7 o'clock in the morning. So I just wanted to make sure that it could all go smoothly. But first, let me just show you the shoe I am wearing. So this is the shoe. It's got a cute little heel. And basically the toes at the front just squish my foot a bit too much. And I don't think I'm going to be lasting that long in them. So I'm going to get the round ones and I pick them up tomorrow. So hopefully they'll fit. But if they don't fit, I have these as a backup. Thank you for getting ready with me doing this trial run of makeup but what i will do now is if i get any clips which i fingers crossed i do i'll show you some clips of my actual graduation me again this is past Lydia now so I've graduated as you've seen from all the clips all the photos and I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video listening to me talk about myself which I don't do very often and I really hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy the video please hit the thumbs up before you go and to subscribe to my channel so you can see more of me some makeup some fashion a bit of everything but if you really want to know what I got go check out my channel as I've been on YouTube for over a year now Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. It means so much to me. And I will see you in my next video next week. Bye, guys.